Welcome. Muscle weakness. Muscle atrophy. Do you have to have atrophy to have weakness? Initially, no. But in the later phases, you will see the muscle smaller on one side as compared to the other. Whenever you look at muscles, you have to look at them bilaterally. You have to compare them. It's hard to look at a muscle to know if that muscle is normal or abnormal. So the question is muscle atrophy. If you have weakening of a bicep or a tricep and you notice that that bicep is much smaller as compared to the other side, that's a potential problem. Now the question here is the causation. Where is it coming from? Generally the nerves that control this mainly stem from the neck originally, although when they exit the neck, thoracic outlet syndrome, other areas of the scalenus underneath the first rib, or anywhere where it makes its way down the arm to the muscle of the bicep. If there's any irritation in the nerve or interference in the nerve, then the bottom line is that you need to remove that interference. So the question here is just because you have disc or nerve compression from the vertebrae and a surgeon sees it, if that is the number one causation where you are getting atrophy, you must release and decompress that nerve. If you see a herniated disc in a different area, not at the C4 or C5, C6 level, let's say you see it at the T1, T2 or way up C2, C3, if it's in a different area that's controlling the bicep, then obviously surgical intervention is not even looked at. The bottom line is that because a nerve is compressed, it can be a virus. It could be a bacteria. It could be anything that can affect the neurological system. Although viruses has to run its course. Now, what do you do if you have weakening? It may be the quadricep. It may be the hamstring. First thing you want to do is you want to look at the source. Is that nerve that's controlling that muscle, is it the innervation that's being compressed on, on the nerve root from where it's exiting the spine? If the answer is no, you make the next step. As it comes out of the spine, down the arm, or out of the lower back, down the leg, is there any other areas of compression that can be affected in that region? And if there is, that needs to be addressed and corrected. Obviously, there's no surgical or anything that's invasive that needs to be done. Now, if there is a, uh, a virus or anything else that affected the nerve, unfortunately, you have to let it run its course. There is really no true test like blood work or actually anything that can determine if it's a true virus when it comes to a nerve root. It's a very subjective type of thing where neurosurgeons, neurologists will say, well, it's not this, it's not this, so it's gotta be this. So the question here is what do you do? You must rehabilitate that atrophied muscle. When the muscle's weak, if it's your bicep or tricep, you need to strengthen it. Get to the gym, do light dumbbells, do cables, Give it rest every 48 hours and continue to strengthen and get on a type of a program. You cannot leave atrophied muscles weak because they will continue to get weaker. Obviously what you don't use, you will lose. If you have questions, leave them below. I ask you to please subscribe if you haven't, share this video, and most important, make it a great day. I'm Dr. Alan Mandel.